Hi, students, and welcome to today's live IELTS class. Hi, for Dobbs. Good to see you in class right away. Excellent. All right, everyone. Today, we are kicking this class off with an IELTS task to writing essay for the writing section. And of course, as usual, our materials do come from our websites, aehelp.com for the academic module. And if you are learning for the general version of the exam, please visit us at gieltshelp.com. Hi, Roshni. Hi, Begzod. Good to see you in class. Again, for all of our viewers, our websites, when you're searching for it, look for these websites. This is our academic one here with the blue background. Click that big red button to join. And for the general, very similar appearance, green background, click that red button to access six original practice exams, over 100 hours of video lessons, and a fully interactive course with strategies to help you get those high scores. Roshni. You got 6.5 in your writing. That's fantastic. Good job. Thanks for sharing. That's great. Is that, uh, oh, one band increase from before. That's fantastic, Roshni. I'm guessing that you were using the structure and the strategies from class. And Roshni, you should know that that's not just good for the exam, but it's also great for your future writing, for your workplace, or if you're going to university, that will be great for you. So fantastic. Good for you. Hi, Ursalem. Hi, Haung. Good to see you in class. All right, students, if you have questions, definitely don't be shy. Send me an email, adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, at aehelp.com. Hi, Vivek. Good to see you in class. Long time no see. All right, everyone, so this is a members chat class. To join the chat, you do have to be a member. Members also get access to our six practice exams and our video library on the YouTube channel. So advantages to being a member. After this class, in about 90 minutes, we will have a reading class with an example and strategy for you to improve your reading scores. Roshni, seven in speaking, fantastic. You're doing really well. So you're moving from a fluent to a good user of the English language, awesome. All right, so uh, members, this is a continuation from our last week task two question. If you weren't here for that class, it's okay. We will go through the question and the introduction real quick, just for a refresher. Um, is the screen bright enough for, uh, is it legible? Can you read um, the uh, text okay? Just wanna make sure before we move along. So here is the question from last week, IELTS, task two writing. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Always spend that 40 minutes. Okay, thanks Begzad, thanks Roshni, thanks Preeti, appreciate it. So here's the original question. Playing video games has become a daily hobby for millions of people and even a profession for many. What has led to this exceptional popularity of video gaming? And is this a good or bad development? Give reasons and explanations for your response. Now, we all did our paraphrasing. I was very, very happy with the paraphrasing that many of you members produced last week. That was great to see. Of course, we need to write at least 250 words. Then uh, after we paraphrased this question, uh, we looked at some of the uh, planning. Of course, we went through that. We applied critical thinking. We asked some good questions, like why are video games popular, okay? And we answered those questions. They provide an escape from the stresses of reality. They provide an alternate reality. They're entertaining, why? They're visually stunning, with good sound, and they tell interesting stories. As well, they allow for competition. They are challenging for people. They challenge 
our skills, our minds, and they're interactive. That's what makes games so popular. Then, of course, we remembered, very importantly, members, we remembered that uh, this is a two-part question. So is this a good or bad development? And we answered that question. It's great uh, form of entertainment when done in moderation. Moderation means not too much time spent video gaming. It's good for brain development. It can even help the hand-eye coordination. So hand-eye coordination. People can make lots of money playing video games. That's another positive. It's actually become a job. Our parents used to say, hey, why are you kids playing so much video games? You'll never do anything with your life. And lo and behold, not true. Many kids who became really good at video games are now making loads of money in that industry in many different ways. And then, of course, we said, well, it's negative if people become addicted and spend too much time or energy uh, with video games. So it can be a negative. Of course, after that planning, we came up with our thesis statement. And students, as I'm going through this, members, these points and the thesis, in the real IELTS exam, this is about how fast you should be uh, planning and writing your thesis, the actual speed that I'm reviewing right now. So the thesis, remember, really important for everybody who's watching. The thesis will make your essay great if it is a good thesis, and it will break your essay or it will show a lower level of skill if it's not a good thesis. Okay, so after a person reads your thesis, the last sentence of your introductory paragraph, they should know A, the question you are answering. Okay, uh, members, one good exercise to do at home when you're doing these task two uh, essays, when you finish writing your thesis, uh, go to your classmates or your friend or your teacher and say, look teacher, this is my thesis. Can you tell me which question I'm answering with this thesis? If they say a question that is close to the task two question, you're doing a great job. If they say a completely different question, there's something wrong with your thesis and you need to go back to the drawing board. So you need to redo your thesis, okay? All right, uh, as well, your thesis should clearly show your point of argument. It should show your voice if you're writing first or third person voice. And it should also show the outline or the structure of your essay. What can your reader expect in body paragraph one? What can they expect in body paragraph two? All of this should be contained in a high level thesis statement, okay? So this is our thesis statement, or this is the one I came up with. Uh, some of you came up with different ones, but they looked solid. The ever-increasing boom of video gaming can be attributed to escape from reality and competition with others. This is a positive or negative for gamers' brain development, depending on the intensity of their digital gaming habits. Okay, so that thesis is your band nine level thesis. It gives very clear position, argument, it shows the structure, and it shows the voice. Any questions, members, so far about the thesis, about the planning? Now's a good chance to kind of ask me. So do you have any questions before we go on to uh, the rest of the essay? Anything that's unclear or you're not sure with a different kind of question? Ferdov says, no. <laughs> Crystal clear, Ferdov's? I'm guessing is what you're thinking. It's crystal clear, which is a good way to be. If it is, then it means you've got the right idea. You just need to put it into practice. So thank you for Dobbs for the feedback. Anybody else? Any, uh, any questions about that? Okay. Uh, now, again, just a reminder, when you have a multiple question task two, like this one, so um, why are video games so popular and is this a positive or a negative, then you have to think about the most logical way to structure your body paragraphs, okay? 
Um, Roshni says, this question's answering both positive and negative. Roshni, not only is it answering both the positive and negative, but it's also answering the reason uh, for the popularity of video gaming. Okay. Uh, Preeti, an escape from reality basically means that we get to disconnect, so move away from um, our real life situation. So um, the stresses of work or school, our relationships, and we get to experience uh, a virtual environment where we can be a hero or a heroine um, or a race car driver outside of what's happening in real life. So that's how we escape the stress of real life. Okay, that's what it means, Preeti. All right, so here is our band nine introduction for this essay question. Uh, let's take a look at it and then we will move to the body paragraphs. So video gaming has swept the globe in the past 30 years as one of the most popular pastimes for millions of people. That's my hook. It's a little bit more complicated than usual. You don't have to have a hook this complex, okay? Just kind of showing you that really high band nine level. And then of course, the next element of the introduction is the background with the definition and the importance. So uh, from simple games played by many on smartphones to the most advanced virtual reality games played in stadiums, Digital gaming consumes an average of three hours a day in a modern person's life. Notice how here I'm using three hours a day uh, to give it some quantitative information. Again, students, you don't have to write sentences this complex. Um, just the ideas are what, it, what are important to include, okay? All right, uh, so this clearly has a massive impact on society. That's the importance of the question. And then the thesis, and the thesis is what we just read. It's just copy pasted to the end of the uh, introduction. Now, if you're doing the paper-based exam, um, you can actually write your thesis about four or five lines down once you know what you're writing, and then you can fill in the hook and the background before your thesis. Does that make sense? So what I just said, there's kind of an interesting point. Uh, does that make sense what I suggested to do in the real exam? So again, you should have your thesis before you write this part of the introduction, okay? So you should have a thesis before you write the hook, before you write the, the background. And to do it effectively, um, what in the real exam, you have just 40 minutes, so you shouldn't be rewriting your thesis unless you're very, very fast. So to save a little bit of time, when you finish your planning and you think about your thesis, then you write your thesis about four or five lines below the start of your essay, okay? Hopefully that makes sense, and that way you can save a little bit of time, okay? All right, so the ever-increasing boom of video gaming can be attributed to an escape from reality and competition with others. This is a positive or negative for uh, gamers' brain development, depending on the intensity of their digital gaming habits. So here, my first body paragraph will be about the popularity of video games. So my first paragraph will include escape from reality and competition with others. Okay, that's going to be my uh, first body paragraph. So let's get into that. What is, uh, members, what is the first sentence of the body paragraph? So what comes first? What is my first element, the first part of a body paragraph? It's always this, okay? What should it be? Hopefully... All of you are having the same idea. It's your topic sentence. Okay, and then of course, my next question. Yeah, Patricio, very go good. It's your topic sentence. It's basically like the heading of your 
um, body paragraph, it, it answers the what question. What is this body paragraph going to be about? So it's uh, yes, in some sense, for Dobbs, it's general information, but it's definitely much more specific than the introduction. Okay. Uh, yes, Begzod, that's right. So I'm going to discuss two points briefly in body paragraph one, and then I'm going to discuss two points, negative and positive, briefly in body paragraph two. Yes. And again, it's a 250-word minimum essay, so you should be thinking closer to 300 words for a band nine. Uh, by the way, students, uh, if you're doing TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language, uh, the word count for TOEFL is actually 300 words. So they say 300 words minimum. Um, the IELTS says 250, but... In fact, it should be closer to 300, like in the TOEFL, to get those bands 7, 7.5, 8, and higher. Okay? All right, so what is the topic sentence? What should that be? That should be a deeper definition. Or another way to think about it is a detailed paraphrase of point one in the uh, thesis. Okay. Now, uh, that means that our topic sentence here for body paragraph one needs to be about the uh, escape from reality and competition with others. Now, Begzod, you asked a very good question. You said, well, don't you have two points here? Uh, and yes, I do. So an easier way for this kind of structure is to just focus on one of these two points. So for the topic sentence here, we want to focus on escape from reality and then later we create a secondary topic sentence, uh, which is about the competition with others. Of course, if this is a university essay and I can write a much longer essay, then I can do more paragraphs. So I could do one paragraph on escape from reality and another paragraph with competition from others. But in this case, I just don't have the time and the word count. So I have to have both of these in one uh, paragraph. Uh, Begzod, you could. Yes, you could do that. So Begzod's asking, could I just write positive or negative? Yes, you could uh, do that. Uh, it might not be as comprehensive, but you could, and you could still get a very good score, certainly. Uh, regardless, Begzod, I would still separate that into its own body paragraph, just because the connection is weak between the first and second uh, body paragraph here of these points, okay? So here, my topic sentence should focus on escape from reality. Now, we can say that in different ways. So, members, give me a sentence that gives a deeper definition or a paraphrase with some details of escape from reality. So think about video games are popular, escape from reality, Think about another way to say that, to give more clarity for your reader with some details. And try to express that in one sentence, okay? So let's do this together. Write your own topic sentence. I will do the same, okay? So Begzod says, interacting with games can help millions of people depart. To be apart, Begzod, is okay. An even better word is depart, D-E. Okay, D-E-P-A-R-T, depart from their daily routine as well as stress. Uh, very good. You know what, Begzod, mine is so close in my mind that I'm just going to take yours. It works fine, except with that slight change. Okay, so interacting with video games. can help millions of people to momentarily depart from their daily grind, 
going to use that word instead of routine. It's even more expressive, Begzod. Grind means the demand of daily routine, as well as stress. Okay, so that's really good. That works, that works well, Begzod. I like it. That's a nice uh, topic sentence. It says the same uh, idea as escape from reality, but with a little bit more detail. So you include uh, a quantitative piece here again with millions of people. You include the idea of that daily routine or daily grind and the idea of stress. So that works really well for that topic sentence. Again, we're continuing with that band nine caliber writing for that task to exam. Hi, Mariko, welcome. You're just in time for body paragraph one. Okay, and then after this, we have to explain this. Okay, now of course we need to be careful, make sure that you know we have the ability to write all this in, within the allowed time. So if we can't, we have to shorten it. In this case, you may want to combine your explanation and your example just to keep it a little bit shorter because we still have that second half of this body paragraph coming, which is the competition with others, right? Okay, so for Dobbs, uh, your topic sentence, video games are more well known than ever before uh, for the reason of unwinding from the stresses of everyday life. Okay, for Dobbs, close, the correct word form in that context is unwinding from the stresses of everyday life. Um, so you're using the gerund in that case, okay? Uh, Patricio says, many people play video games to reduce their stress and escape from daily routine. Patricio, that's good, but careful. Because we have the word escape, and that's a key word here, Patricio, in the, uh, in the thesis, so escape from reality, we don't want to repeat the word escape. So uh, you need to find um, some paraphrase for that, like uh, what Begzaw did with the word to be apart or to depart. That's another way to say escape, okay? So even if you're just simply paraphrasing it, it's better than repeating it, Patricio, all right? All right, Preeti, video games help individuals to release stress from their daily routine. Preeti, that works fantastic as well. Just watch the grammar. Video games help, not our helps. You don't need the be verb there. Just help individuals because it's active, Preeti. The games are actually actively doing the action. Remember, students, that machines are active, so we use the active voice, okay? They actively do, all right? Okay, so now we want to explain that. So now we want to explain this idea of, well, what do you mean? Again, remember, it's like we're talking or writing for an alien. They're very smart, the examiners, but they're aliens. They have little antennae, they're green, and they uh, need you to very clearly explain your ideas. Don't assume that they know what you know, okay? So explain for me, explain to me, I'm a Martian, I came from Mars, I don't know about stress, I don't know about the daily grind, uh, I don't know what you mean with video games, so give me a sentence that explains of what do you mean uh, to escape uh, stress or the daily grind to play video games. How, how does that work? What are, you, what are you telling me there? Okay, so give me a nice explanation. Haung says, playing video games can attract millions of people to focus on virtual scenes to escape from their daily stress. Haung, very good sentence. Okay, again, nice. I'm loving the improvement that many of you are making. That's fantastic. Okay, all right, so I'll write my explanation a little bit silently, and then you can do the same, so we'll compare after.
All right. So there's my explanation. I'm guessing that you're thinking of, well, how would I explain this? Again, think of details, specifics. This is students where you want to visualize yourself. So put yourself in the situation of this topic sentence. Okay, what do I do? So I go to my work at 8 a.m. Uh, maybe you're an accountant at an accounting firm or at a bank. Um, you sit, you crunch numbers, you deal with managers, you deal with clients, you're there for eight hours, ten hours, it's getting tough. And then you go home and you just sigh, a big uh, sigh of relief, so oh, you exhale and you're like, okay, I'm just going to chill out, relax, decompress. You sit in front of your TV, you turn on your PlayStation, your Xbox, your computer, you open up your favorite game of Warcraft, Call of Duty, whatever it may be, uh, and, uh, and you just click buttons and have fun uh, exploring virtual worlds uh, and so on. So, okay, so that's what it means for me. So now you just need to put that into a sentence, and this is mine. Following a, te uh, a tough 10-hour day at the office, it is relaxing for individuals to sit with a game console and transform into a favorite character for two hours of excitement and entertainment. That is a very clear explanation of this topic sentence. Okay? All right, Bagzod says, these days most individuals spend at least... Uh, half of their entire day in both work and study, and therefore such an activity is one of the sources for unwinding. Uh, yet, Begzod, uh, it's not bad, okay? It's a little bit redundant with the topic sentence, so you're kind of repeating what you've already said here with a little bit more detail. What you want to do, Begzod, is always try to reach as much additional detail, of course, without going off topic and having clear connection, as you can. So you want to avoid repeating your topic in your explanation, okay? So you have a little bit there, but again, you want more bags. I'd think more quantitative information. Try to make it even more visual, okay? Uh, Roshni says, moreover, technology has revolutionized the individual spending two to three hours daily on video games that not only give relaxing playtime with children, but also reduce stress. Uh, Roshni, you also have kind of the same situation as Bagzod, so you're somewhat uh, repeating uh, what the uh, topic sentence has done, okay? Yeah, I think you just realized that, Roshni, after I read Bagzod, so, but that's fine, again, Practice will make it perfect. The idea is take your reader from an abstract uh, sphere, so from uh, a kind of a less visual or less reality-based concept like releasing stress, and then bring them to a more visual uh, type of situation. So 10 hours at the office, go home, turn on the console, become a character, for two hours. That now becomes a lot more visual. Now then the next step, your example, makes it even more visual. So that's the uh, mechanism or the idea of a good body paragraph is you go from uh, ideas into reality-based explanations. All right, that's the magic. That's what you want to perfect in your writing and in your logic. Does that make sense, students? So Haung, Mariko, Preeti, does that make sense? Okay, so here we come up with our example. So once I've visualized the situation that allowed me to come up with this explanation, then uh, I can actually continue with that, okay? Now, if I don't have enough time, if I'm not a fast enough writer, or if I need more time to think, then I might just go to the second point here and leave this as kind of my example in the exam. If I'm going for a band nine, I would actually go for a detailed example here before switching to the next um, point of the body paragraph, which is competition, okay? All right, Haung says, nowadays, most people spend uh, 
time, considerable time on video games, not only for excitement, but also to have less costly entertainment with others. Um, how you're going off topic there, especially with the less costly. We're not talking about saving money. So playing video games as a form of entertainment, which is cheap, is not in our introduction. So how be very careful not to introduce ideas or arguments in your body paragraph that are not clear from your introduction. We do not mention money or cost in the introduction, so we can't bring that into our body paragraph. How if we wrote a university essay and it were much longer, we might do that as even more, but then we need to have it in the introduction. Okay. All right, Ferdov says, after a stressful day at work, many people want to relax at home for a couple of hours or at the nearest gaming clubs. Sure. Okay, Ferdov. So uh, again, it's a little repetitive of the topic. So be a little bit more detailed. Make it a little bit. It's not bad, Ferdov. So I mean, I, I can visualize it a little bit more with the game clubs. Okay. But still, you want to be even more detailed, all right? So here's my example. For instance, after spending a day crunching numbers at an accounting firm, The employee may want nothing more for the evening than sitting in front of the tube and playing FIFA soccer for a couple of hours with friends. Okay. So here, my example is literally an even more detailed description of my explanation. Okay. So let's read it from the top for the first part of body paragraph one. Interacting with video games can help millions of people to momentarily depart from their daily grind as well as stress. Following a tough 10-hour day at the office, it is relaxing for individuals to sit with a game console and transform into a favorite character for two hours of excitement and entertainment. For instance, after spending a day crunching numbers at an accounting firm, the employee may want nothing more for the evening than sitting in front of the tube and playing FIFA for a couple of hours with friends. Now, when you're practicing at home, a couple of interesting uh, points to consider when you're reviewing writing like this is how to make it even better, okay? You should avoid repetition of ideas. So here in this sentence for two hours of excitement and entertainment, that's repetitive. Excitement and entertainment are the same idea. You don't need both. And this is how you can save time in the exam as well and still get high points or even higher points and make it better. Don't have repetitive ideas. I see many students doing that. So the sentence is perfectly the same and reads even better with just the word excitement. So transform into a favorite character for two hours of excitement. We don't need the word and entertainment. Entertainment, excitement are synonymous. Don't repeat words. Okay. Now, another uh, unnecessary word, and this is called wordiness in writing. This is definitely a higher level skill, is most people in the world are familiar with FIFA, so we don't need to say FIFA soccer or FIFA football. Just FIFA is enough. So sitting in front of the tube and playing FIFA for a couple of hours with friends. Okay, that's enough. I've shortened it up a bit and now I can continue. All right. 
So Preeti, your example is like just yesterday, I spent almost two hours on pub game after working for 10 hours at the office. Then I felt relaxed and energetic. Uh, Preeti, it's good. Notice my corrections. Now, Preeti, one difference between your and my example, of course, is you're writing in first person. So you're saying like just yesterday, I spent. I'm not using first person in my example. I'm using third person. Why? Because I don't have uh, first person in my thesis. Okay, my thesis is purely third person. Why is my thesis third person? Because the question does not ask me to include personal examples. The question just says, give reasons and explanations for your response. It doesn't say, use examples uh, and explanations from your experience. So I'm not using my experience here. I'm just creating a general third person essay. Uh, it's okay, Preeti, to do first person if the question is asking first person and your thesis shows first person, like I believe that people enjoy video games because. So make sure you pay attention. Voice is very, very important for good writing. And that's to all of our viewers. If you're not familiar with first, second, third person voice, you have to review that for good essay writing, okay? If you just Google author's voice, you will have lots of information available online about how to use author's voice, first, second, or third person. So keep that in mind, students, okay? And don't make voice mistakes because it's really confusing for your reader. It kind of goes like, okay, you're talking general, now you're talking about yourself, now you're talking about me, now you're talking about general again. It's really confusing. In university, they take a lot of marks, professors in English classes, for voice confusion, okay? Voice confusion and tense confusion, so future, present, past tenses, those can be really confusing. So be really careful, okay? Be very careful. I see, Patricio, you just caught your own mistake there as well. Okay. All right. Uh, Haung says, for example, when you spend most of your time to make brainstorming in the office, you want to take a break from home and playing Super Mario without thinking too much. Uh, Haung, you have the right idea, but you make the same mistake as Patricio and as uh, Preeti because you started using you, your. So that's called the second person voice of the author, Haung. It's where you directly speak to your reader. So you're actually speaking to or writing to your reader. We don't use that voice uh, in university very much. It's very rare that we use the second person voice. You don't want to speak directly to your professor. Your professor probably does not play Super Mario at home. Uh, it's uh, highly likely that they might not even play video games. So you don't want to write directly for them. Okay, so be really careful with voice control. Okay, all right. So now uh, I'm going to remember to continue here with my second point of the body paragraph. And so in this case, of course, um, I need to include that it's challenging uh, for uh, people and they get to compete with others. So here, students, we can, you know, do it a little bit differently, different people differently. Um, I would just include it in the same body paragraph. However, if you're good at writing and you want to separate that into another body paragraph, you could. You have to be a confident writer, so you could do three body paragraphs. You could do the first one like this on escape from reality, the next one on competing and uh, playing with others as a social medium for video games, and then the third one is positive negatives. Don't do four. You'll run out of time. Um, most students will not have the fluency to write four body paragraphs, so I don't recommend it in the 40 minutes, okay? All right, a couple more examples. Ferdov says, for example, after labor-intensive job, many workers spend their time near computers for a couple hours playing Xbox games. Uh, Ferdov, be careful of um, uh, confusing your reader. So computers, Xbox, which one? 
okay? And please don't tell me that it's an Xbox emulator on the computer, okay? <laughs> um, because that's way too much detail for an IELTS task uh, to essay. So just be careful, Ferdovs, with your um, choice of information. Okay, uh, Begzad says, for instance, when a student spends six hours in university, playing Clash of the Cl Type Clans can uh, not only be entertaining, but also relaxing. Um, sure, yeah, Begzad. Um, you can also use the word rejuvenating. Rejuvenating means to get energy back. Okay, rejuvenate, rejuvenating. All right, so I'm just going to link my second uh, point of my body one here. So in addition... Video games create or facilitate a social platform where gamers can challenge each other and their own abilities. Okay, so that's kind of like a secondary topic sentence within the body paragraph. Now I need to explain that, okay? And uh, members, I'm just going to move a little bit along here so we can uh, kind of see how this body paragraph develops, okay? But just keep writing with me. So write this second topic, write the explanation, write the example, so you know what you're doing now. Uh, write uh, an original sentence similar to mine and then continue on and we'll compare okay so um modern gaming consoles connect players through the internet and offer interactive games that demand knowledge and skill like FIFA which can be played against others online and further entertain the accountant who has arrived home from a long day of labor. Okay. So here is my example. And notice uh, something uh, interesting that I'm doing here, which is making connections uh, among my examples, okay? So you know you're doing well with your logic, your critical thinking, and your writing when you're able to make strong connections and continue on with the same example that you started with, all right? So I started with the example of the accountant and how they arrive at home from working at their firm for a long time, then they're playing a couple hours of FIFA, and now, as I explain that games are also interactive and challenging, I continue with that same example, like FIFA, which can be played against others online and further entertain the accountant who has arrived home from a long day of labor, okay? So that will continue to improve your score. Uh, it will show stronger cohesion in your essay, Cohesion and uh, coherence in your writing, just like in your speaking, is very, very important. And that's what the examiners are looking for in task two to really give those high grades. Okay, So again, this is where especially the academic version of the exam, it's not just about English, but it's your skills as a student, as an academic. Okay. All right, let me read a couple more sentences here. So Begzod says, furthermore, video games can also help players to socialize and compete with the help of advancements in networking. OK, 
Okay. Uh, Begzod, you can state that as one sentence, and you're kind of overstating there in the long run. Um, and current network, it's kind of a little bit awkward. Okay. Uh, most individuals can connect with any interplayer, any player internationally, and and challenge each other uh, to uh, to victory or challenge each other for. Um, Deciding who has better skills, okay? Uh, Roshni, FIFA is the football game. It's the most popular uh, soccer game uh, in the world. But if you don't know it, just use another one that's very popular, okay? Uh, FIFA, World Cup Soccer, Roshni. Uh, Patricio says, furthermore, many companies organize events and competitions to catch more people in the world of gaming. Uh, Patricio, that's a little bit off topic. Um, you're talking about companies organizing events. You have to remember, we're answering the question of why are games popular? They're popular because people can connect with others. So we can't forget about the question of why are games popular. Uh, companies organize events. You can connect that, but you have to be a little bit more tactful. You have to be a little bit more strategic to make that clear. Okay. All right. So this is uh, my long body paragraph one here. And again, if I don't have the ability to write this in the allowed time, then what I can do is just kind of remove maybe the example here and just keep the explanation. I can still get a very high score, maybe even a band nine, um, because, you know, as long as you have good explanations, they can almost substitute for your example. So let's read this uh, together, and then we can face off with body paragraph two. So interacting with video games can help millions of people to momentarily depart from their daily grind as well as stress. Following a ten, tough 10-hour day at the office, it is relaxing for individuals to sit with a game console and transform into a favorite character for two hours of excitement. For instance, after spending a day crunching numbers at an accounting firm, the employee may want nothing more for the evening than sitting in front of the tube and playing FIFA for a couple of hours with friends. In addition, video games facilitate a social platform where gamers have to be careful with plural singulars can challenge each other and their own abilities. Modern gaming consoles connect players through the internet and offer interactive games that demand knowledge and skill, like FIFA, which can be played against others online and further entertain the accountant who has arrived home from a long day of labor. Okay, now I want my concluding sentence here. It is quite important. And I'm going to keep it simple. For these reasons, digital games have become a worldwide phenomenon. Okay. All right. So that's my connecting concluding sentence. Now I can go on to my body paragraph two. My body paragraph two, same idea. So I'm going to uh, discuss that video games can be negative if they're played too much or that they can be positive. And to be very clever, I will likely continue on with my FIFA example to create strong cohesion from body one to body two. And then I can come to my conclusion. Now, members, that's all the time we have for this class. I'm not going to rush into body two or the conclusion. Rather, I will challenge you, now that you see what's happening, uh, to finish body paragraph two and the conclusion on your own. And over the next couple days, I will complete this essay also. So I will write body paragraph two and the conclusion. And then I will post the full essay with the question into our YouTube community chat. So you can see that as well. Okay. Uh, Begzod, how can you start body paragraph two? 
Um, I would start with a topic sentence, okay, just the same. So uh, with a little bit more detail, okay? So something like uh, overusing uh, video games can have detrimental effects on gamers' health, both mentally and physically. That could be a uh, topic sentence start, Begzod, for uh, body paragraph two, okay? All right. Uh, yes, Amrit, I'll check it out later on. Absolutely. Students, thank you so much for joining in. Members, you've done an awesome job. Again, I can literally see you improve from one class to the next, which is fantastic. I'm loving it. Of course, I realize you're doing a lot of hard work at home and practicing. Uh, send your essays members uh, for score estimates and a bit of feedback to adrian at aehelp.com, your completed essay. And uh, for all of those watching, uh, join our classes and our materials at aehelp.com for academic version of the test and g-i-e-l-t-s help.com for the general. Again, those websites look like this. This is g-i-e-l-t-s help.com. Click that red button to join. And this is our academic here with the blue background. Click that red button to join and take advantage of our materials to really improve those band scores. Spend a couple dollars, save yourself lots of stress, time, money, not having to do the exam over and over again. You're very welcome, Hong. You're very welcome for Dobbs. I look forward to your essays. And in 30 minutes, I will host one more class for the reading section of the exam with examples and strategies, okay? Uh, no, Preeti, uh, because in the thesis we have positive and negative, you should add both in body paragraph two. See you soon, Amrit. See you soon, everyone. Bye for now. Much love to all of you. Keep practicing. Keep up the good fight.